Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good day to our lecturer for BMMA 3533, Faikal Dynamic, uh, Dr. Dur Rashid bin Mat Nuri, Elias Muhammad Din. Today, we are from Group A, want to present our assignment with, uh, with title Suspen uh, Suspension System in Bracket Active. Okay, next slide. Okay, for the next slide, this is our group member for group A, 3 BMMA, section 1, slash 1. Okay, next slide. Okay, this is introduction for our uh, assignment, uh, active suspension. The active suspension is a form of automotive suspension that is installed on a vehicle. It's employ an onboard mechanism to regulate the vertical movement of the vehicle wheels relative to the cases or vehicle body. As opposed, as opposed to the passive suspension given by big spring, where movement is solely governed by the rod surface. There are two types of active suspension. First, through active suspension and adaptive or semi-active suspension. Semi-adaptive suspension just change the hardness of the shock absorber to accommodate a changing rod or dynamic condition. Where active suspension employ some form of actuator to rise and lower the chassis separately and each wheel. Okay, this technology enable automotive automobile maker to improve ride comfort and handling by keeping the tires perpendicular to the rod in turns, allowing, allowing for improved traction and control and onboard computer monitor body movement using sensor located throughout the car and use that information to manage the action of the active and semi-active suspension. In numerous driving circum cir circumstances such as turning, accelerating and braking, the technology practically eliminates body roll and pitch uh, fluctuation. Okay, next slide. Okay, this is our literature, literature review summary. Okay, for discussion, journal one, uh, title, improving the comfort of the vehicle based on using the active suspension system controlled by the double integrate controller. Uh, use methodology dynamic model of the vehicle, which is reaches in the subject of oscillation, uh, oscillation control frequently employ basic dynamic model that can be readily integrated with complicated controller. The quarter dynamic model is utilized in this article to simulate the vehicle oscillation. The active suspension system controller are uh, installed at each wheel location. This controller works independently of, an, uh, of, another, of one another. As a result, the outcome of the quarter dynamic Model control procedure may also be applied to the spatial dynamic model, which completely characteristic the vehicle vibrator. This variant employ a dual integrate controller. Okay, for the second methodolo methodology, the general have double integrate uh, use double integrate controller. An integrate controller strategy is presented to optimize the oscillation of the suspension system. The first controller is used to regulate the sprue mass acceleration. And the other controller is used to regulate the sprung mass displacement. These two parameters are ideally adjusted to improve the efficiency of the active suspension system. In order to meet this objective, the approach of uh, approach of integrating two PID control is used. Okay, if you see, this is an image of the double integrate control. Okay, for the result, the general have a simulation result, which is the value of the sprung mass displacement, acceleration, and suspension system displacement are compared the following scenario if vehicle equipped with equipped with passive suspension active suspension system with a single controller sc active suspension system with double integrate controller pc the single controller sc alone regulate the value of the sprung mass acceleration the double integrate controller dc regulate the sprung mass acceleration and displacement okay for the result and discussion the double integrate control consisting of two pid controller was created the study finding revealed that when a vehicle is equipped with an active suspension system controlled by a double integrate control, 
the displacement and acceleration of the sprung mass are both dramatically decreased. Furthermore, the amplitude of oscillation for this value is relative, relatively tiny. In comparison to prior research investigation that mainly employ standard control method, the utilization of the double integral control was more effective. Okay, that all, that's all for me. I will pass the next slide to our group member for the summary of general two. Thank you. For general two, a significant improvement of vehicle body responses using limited state feedback controller for active suspension. For the methodology, vehicle suspension has three purposes. It is induced by road surface, it supports the vehicle body and it aids in the vehicle control. Due to the absence of attitude control and the high cost of deploying active suspension on a vehicle, the researcher are considering the implementation of low cost active suspension system by simpl simplifying a vehicle suspension outer loop controller. Quarter vehicle model. The passenger vehicle quarter vehicle model is made up of quarter sprung mass vehicle body, mass couple, and sprung mass and de depicted as a two DOF system. The sprung mass is repre represented as a plane and is permitted to displace vertically, whereas the unsprung mass is permitted to bounce vertically with regard to the sprung mass. For the control structure, the controller structure as it links to the plan, the plan is the system that will be regulated and the controller is the, ch is the chosen control mechanism that will give the plan with excitation. LSF is a controller technique that employs two basic gain to regulate the car body at displacement. The benefit of employing this controller is that it can regulate the car body and temper displacement at the same time. For result and discussion, the temporal action of a vehicle body to acceleration, according to the graph, the PID and LSF control can minimize the magnitude with the, with the greatest performance as an active suspension system. With an active system becomes st becoming stable quicker than a passive system with 3.1 meter per second square for LSF and 3.9 milli per second uh, square for PID controller versus 4.5 4 meter per second square for passive system. The suspension travel of an active suspension with PID and LSF controller is much greater than that of a passive suspension system. This is due to the quick force applied by the actuator in response to controller signal, but the vibration becomes stable much faster than in the passive system due to the initial stage of transition vibration with each increased displacement amplitude. Uh, that's all for me. I will transfer the next slide for other members. Okay, I will continue with journal three analysis of active suspension system. So the methodology is working of suspension system. The wheel movement is independent of the body thanks to suspension control arms or links. This form a gap between the body and the road bump. The spring attempt to bring the frequency of road is proven into a more acceptable band. They also dampen vibration via friction and their own hysteresis. The energy of the dynamic load transmitted by the road bump is dissipated by the damper. They work together to reduce the impact of road vibration on the vehicle ride and stability. Secondly, development of active suspension system. The users of an active element provide a, de a desired force between the vehicle and the wheel is known as active suspension control. Axis, servo valve, high pressure tank for the control fluid, sensor for sensing the system, and other components are required for active suspension system. Depending on the desired performance, the related power that must be given by the vehicle engine may be quite high. 
In order to perform active suspension system, two sets of variables must be monitored and utilized in the control scheme. The, the feed forward component and feedback element of the control scheme. For the result, we get two data. Firstly, the reduction in settling time. So the result, the value is uh, 92%. The settling, the settling time is reduced by 90, 92% in active suspension. This value has to improving the passenger safety, vehicle stability and control. And secondly, reduction in peak value. So the fragment displacement or overshoot is re reduced by 55%. And this value has improved uh, vehicle comfort. So conclusion for this unit is the At this suspension system provide more dynamic performance compared to the passive suspension system. That's all for me. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will continue for general four. The title is Analysis of Active and Passive Suspension System. For methodology, Suspension system and automotive suspension system major duties are to offer vehicle support, stability and directional control during handling movement as well as good road disturbance isolation. The, sus the suspension system is characterized as passive, semi-active or active based on its capacity to contribute or withdraw energy. For the experimental, two shock absorbers of verifying stiffness are mounted vertically on the ramp using a frame made, of, made up of two columns such as a circular bar. Pushers are used here to provide support to the shock absorber and smooth vertical motion over the bar. And the bushes are connected with the head of beam where the mass will be mounted. Okay. Take a reading for passive suspension without utilizing a PID controller and then take a reading for active suspension with the use of a PID controller. For the vibration measuring, the SVAN 954 is a digital type 1 vibration level meter with an analyzer. The equipment is designed to do general vibration measurement as well as machinery condition monitoring. Okay, for the result and graph experimental, we infer from a comparison of active and passive suspension system result that the active suspension system improve vehicle isolation qualities and handling performance more than the passive suspension system. So that is the table for the result active suspension with PID controller and passive suspension without PID controller. And there is the graph of the result. Okay, I will pass it to Hakimi for journal five. Okay, now I will explain our journal five, which is active suspension system energy control. So the methodology is suspension system. Uh, suspension system are designed to meet specific requirement in the most active suspension system. The biggest disadvantage consists in energy demand in suspension system. <coughs> Usually, there are <coughs> two most important features that are improved. That is disturbance absorbing, that is passenger comfort, and attenuation of the disturbance transfer to the road, which is car handling. Uh, so, energy control principle. So in a moving car where the working condition changed according to various drive situation, it was difficult to say in general how much energy is sufficient enough. The H-Infinity controller were designed using appropriate weights to optimize minimum energy consumption with respect to the performance. There are two possibilities to find the optimal possibilities of real-time control of energy consumption that are analysis of driving conditions 
and cycling recomputing of the control signal in real time and the second is control the energy consumption by controller deterioration so as for the result figure below show three curve representing the input signal load displacement and body displacement for two level of energy energy demand which is the left graph as you can see for the body displacement comfort the mean value is 38.6 while the percentage of it was 100 percent for the body displacement energy the mean value we got from it is 47.4 with a percentage of 123 percent and another figures which is the right one uh, shows two curves representing standard energy consumption and energy demand for lower consumption. Uh, we can see the comfort setting. The mean value is 2.689 and the percentage is 100. For the energy setting is 1.568 and the percentage is 59%. Okay, for uh, next slide. Okay, uh, for the conclusion, uh, after all of the discussion done with the group members, we conclude that active suspension system are capable of adjusting the parameters value itself by using an actuator parallel to the spring and damper to provide the required stability and comfort by controlling the suspension deflection, acceleration of body and velocity of suspension masses due to the ability of adapting in correspondence with the state of time. Active suspension also provide much more better dynamic performance as compared to the passive suspension system and active and semi-active suspension system, thus increasing passenger comfort and better handling. I think that all from us, uh, this is the reference that we use. Uh, thank you.